Little Antonio, a boy of only five years old, had been hospitalized for months after suffering a terrible accident while traveling with his mother on a highway. Although the boy had regained consciousness a few weeks ago, he was still unable to move on his own and had not spoken any words, as he was mute, so there was no way he could communicate. That morning, the astonishment shook them all when, seeing the images of his mother on the news, the little boy began to scream, and for the first time, a weak voice came out of his throat to confess something that left them perplexed. Up to that moment, the mother and the father of the child had confronted each other in court, because although she had declared that everything had been an accident caused by the storm that broke out while she was traveling, he insisted that she was hiding the truth and accused her of being responsible for what had happened. The only one who could clarify everything was Antonio, but everyone thought it would be impossible until that day when the unbelievable happened and his surprising declarations left them dumbfounded, unable to believe that someone could do something like that to his own son. Shortly after moving in together in the beautiful mansion that her parents had inherited, Mariana and her husband Robert received the wonderful news that they would become parents. This filled with joy the heart of the young woman who still could not assimilate the painful death of her parents. Her husband also seemed excited and concerned for her well-being. He proposed that he take over the reins of the business left to her by her family so that she could remain at home during her pregnancy. Although during her checkups, Mariana and her baby always proved to be in perfect condition and the baby seemed to be developing normally, a few days before her ninth month, her husband arrived at the hospital with her in his arms in despair after she complained of some discomfort and collapsed on the floor with a strong blow to her head. After examining her, the doctors immediately took her to the operating room since the baby's life was in danger due to her condition. Thanks to her efforts and an almost miraculous act, Mariana was able to regain consciousness a couple of days later. As soon as she opened her eyes, the first thing she did was ask for her baby. Her cries were heard throughout the room as she received the news that he had been born safe and sound. And when she held him in her arms, she felt that she could not be happier in this world. Back home, despite what had happened and the overwhelming fatigue that motherhood brought with it, day after day, Mariana was filled with more and more joy for being able to live this beautiful stage, and her only interest was to enjoy her son second by second. Robert, on the other hand, continued to be in charge of the company, so although he made sure that they never lacked anything, between meetings and business, there were very few hours of the day that he shared with them. The years passed, and the charming little boy they baptized with the name of Antonio grew up like any other child who loved to run and play in the yard. However, Mariana couldn't help but feel worried about the fact that, despite being four years old and attending kindergarten, Tonito still hadn't said his first word. After his first birthday, she noticed that her baby, unlike the others, still did not say a word. The very distressed mother immediately took him to the pediatrician, who ordered a number of tests, but still could not explain what was wrong with the little one. After ruling out that Tonito was not deaf, nor did he suffer from any syndrome or learning problems that could justify his situation, the doctors found themselves in a frustrating impasse, and when they realized that, as time went by, the child did not show any change, everything led them to think that there was something else going on. Ma'am, has your child been exposed to any kind of abuse, violence, or inappropriate situations at home that may have made him feel very frightened during all this time? One of the specialists finally asked. No, no, never, answered Mariana, suddenly looking nervous. Is that true? She asked during this time to Tonito, who, showing a deep sadness, only lowered his gaze and shrugged his shoulders. Ma'am, I'm afraid I'm going to have to send social services to inspect your home. Some children who are victims of traumatic situations become speechless as a result of the harm they have suffered, even though there is no physical cause for it. You may be able to lie to me, but you can't lie to the law. I would never hurt my child. I don't know what you are insinuating, but you are wrong, exclaimed Mariana, very upset. And then she took Tonito by the hand and walked away with him, while he looked at the specialist with tearful eyes. 
That night, upon arriving at the mansion and seeing the state his wife was in, Robert began to argue with her and shouted at her to give him the little one. After a heated dispute, the woman ran out of their home with the little one in her arms and jumped into her car, speeding off down the road, where minutes later, she discovered the catastrophe. Mom, no! Mommy is lying! She's not! Tonito struggled to pronounce with tears in his eyes, leaving the nurses pale with shock. When his words finally made sense, everyone in the room could not believe what he was telling them. Dad is lying. Mom didn't do anything wrong. Just protect me. She told me we should get away from the car, but I didn't want to leave my stuffed animal, so I turned back, and that's when I heard a very loud sound and everything went dark. I want to see her. She just wanted to save me from Daddy, he revealed, crying inconsolably. Appalled by his words, the doctors contacted the authorities, who, after questioning the little boy, dropped all the charges against her and revealed something that shocked them all. During all those years, Mariana had endured countless beatings and mistreatment by Robert, who, not content with having taken her wealth, did not miss any opportunity to make her feel inferior and complain that she was a bad woman, good for nothing. The first time he raised his hand to her was the day she gave birth to the baby, and the man only deceived the doctors by saying she had fallen down when she fainted. Witness to that violence, since he was just a baby, Tonito lived in such terror that he was unable to speak. The only reason his father never attacked him was because his mother always stepped in to protect him. However, every time she wanted to leave, he would stop her and threaten to take him away. On the day of the accident, Mariana cried, feeling guilty that it was her fault that Tonito could not speak, when Robert arrived and became violent, when he learned that he would be sent to social protection. So she finally got up enough courage to run away and get away from him forever. Unfortunately, a storm broke out, causing her to lose control of the vehicle, and when she tried to flee with the little boy before a tree fell on him, she realized that Tonito had turned around and hit him. When Mariana was finally able to hold her son in her arms, she filled him with kisses and thanked God for having heard her prayers and healed her little boy, who is now completely recovered and spends the day talking and laughing nonstop in the new house they have moved into, near the company that, thanks to justice, his mother was able to recover. This story shows us that violence in our homes can affect the most innocent. Let us be aware of the magnitude of aggressions and protect the home where the family is born. I hope you liked this touching story. I wish you a beautiful day. Continue with us watching this story below.